Hello! We are going to today um, paint a very simple little um, uh, candy corn. Okay, so, so I just have a, uh, a blue background. It's a wood panel uh, painted a blue background. It's um, darker at the top than it is at the bottom, which is how I normally go about things. So I'm going to just draw this on here. I'm using soft fine charcoal. I'm going to come up and down. And now we're going to put the 3D in there. He's a little off the center, which is how I like things. I don't like things right in the center. Your eye doesn't really like things right in the center. Okay, so it's going to come off over here and come down. And then it has to go like back there. I know you can't see that line, but I know it's there. Okay, this is my messy palette. <laughs> And I've tapped my brush in the water, tapped it off on the paper towel, and I'm gonna, I want the top part to be white, and then yellow, and then orange. So, what I'm gonna do, <laughs> I've got this, um, got some white here. I'm gonna add it out here to the edge, to this purple um, and blue background, because I don't want solid white. It's very chalky. I might not like this once I get it on here. So it's going to come to about here. Okay, I just kind of goobered that up. We're going to fix that. There we go. Got too much paint on my brush. All right, so now I need this to be darker than that. Now, this is just coat number one. <laughs> so you have to remember that. Okay, so what can I do? What can I add that will make it just a tad bit darker? Let's go with um, some of this blue that I have over here. I'm going to mix out here on the edge. Okay, so I'm going to bring it all the way across here like this. trying to make one stroke all the way to the edge so you don't have all these other things showing now I'm coming back here with some more white and I'm gonna come in here and go across to that edge and I can see that it will need a, a second pass okay all right so I'm gonna kind of wipe that off I'm not gonna clean out my brush I'm just wiping it off okay so now I'm gonna pick up this um, deep yellow. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to add some regular yellow to it and some white. The white makes the paint opaque to where you can't see. Now I have to decide how far down do I want to go. Let's go right about in here. Okay, and then this has to be at an angle. Okay, so now we're just going to bring it in here like this. You can see it's going to definitely need a second pass. Okay, so now on my um, darker side, I need to put in um, a shadow, sort of, or a deeper tone of that. So blue is opposite, um, well, purple is actually opposite yellow on the um, color wheel. So I just added a teensy weensy bit of yellow and now this has to be up at an angle here uh, there we go this brush is too big probably it's good for down here but not so much for there okay so now i'm going to wipe that off and i'm going to pick up some orange i'm going to put that over here and i'm going to add white to that Okay, now I'm going to finish off my candy corn with the orange. So, what's opposite orange on the color wheel? That's right, blue. So I'm going to pick up some of that blue, just a little bit, mix it in with that orange that I've already got going. And I'm going to come over here. It has to 
have an angle to it there. Okay, there we go. So right now, you can't really tell the difference between this and this little side thing. Uh, and we have to be able to do that. And we do that through values. But first, I'm gonna wipe off that brush. And I'm gonna pick up some of this dark that I have left from something else. And we're gonna come right underneath. I have to decide where's my light. And I'm gonna say my light's this way. So we need to come right underneath where the candy corn is sitting on. Oh, well, that's not dark enough. Let's come back again. We're gonna add a little bit of black to that. I got a mishmash over here. It's kind of a, a muddy looking mess. <laughs> and I, I have some black. I'm adding some purple. I added some uh, of the, the red that I have, or the burnt sienna. Okay, so let's try again. We're gonna go right up close underneath that. It's a little dark, a little harsh. And now I need, to, on this side, it needs to also There we go. Okay, so now, as the shadow comes out, it gets lighter. But anytime an item sits on anything, it needs this dark place where it is sitting on the table. So we're just gonna bring this on out. And over. Okay, that looks pretty good. If our light's coming from here, and we know that because the shadow's over here, this side needs to be darker. So let's get a smaller brush, and we're gonna take some of that white back over here in our blue, and maybe even add a touch of orange to make it kind of gray it. Let's pick it up off of there. Well, that's a little too much. We'll put a little more white in there. There, I think that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good representation right there. So we're gonna come in here like this and come all the way down the candy corn. There we go. Now we're going to add See, we use this yellow here. And so yellow and purple are opposite on the color wheel. So that will gray that color. It doesn't really gray it, it dulls it. And that's what we need is a duller color. So here comes this. Okay. So now it's starting to show. <laughs> okay, so now we've got orange here. And orange and blue together make um, a gray color. So I've pulled some of that in there. I'm going to add a little more orange to that because I, I want it to be orange, but I want it to be darker than this. So here we go. There. Okay. Now that now you can start to see the 3D-ness of it. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse that brush off. I'm gonna come back here with the white. And you have to, when you dip your brush back in the water, you need to really dry it off, uh, tap it off on a paper towel, because you don't want uh, a lot of moisture in there. You just want it moist enough to where it's easier to pick up the paint. Okay, so now we're gonna try to brighten this up. Okay, that looks much better. Now we're gonna come back here with this yellow 
and we're going to put it off by itself. We're going to add some white to that. We don't want any of the blue with it. We want it to be very. I'm going to add some of that um, um, deep yellow in there. Okay, so now we're going to come in here like this. Oh, yeah. Come across. Now you can make several passes through of this until you get the color that you're happy with. And now I'm wiping that off again. I'm just wiping. I'm not, uh, I didn't uh, rinse. Picking up the orange and some white. Again, the white makes it opaque. You may need more orange to, so it's not like a, a washed, washed out color of orange. Well, I'm liking what we're getting here, folks. So when this bright orange is next to that dark on this side, it really starts to pop it. Okay, here we have another one of our Halloween pieces. You can see the side over here now. <laughs> So this is just another thing that you now know how to paint and that you can use for your own Halloween decorations. It matters not at all what you are um, painting it on, whether it's a canvas like uh, or a wood panel like this, um, a burlap canvas, a piece of wood. Uh, it, it just doesn't matter. But this is how you would do it. And you get, you do this part here to get that 3D look. And remember, this part has to angle. Without that angle, it's gonna look wonky. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Can't wait for you to see what you're gonna do with it. How about posting in the comments how you would use this? Uh, what you would do with your decorations, with your home, how you would use this, uh, what you learned in this lesson uh, in the future. So thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Let's paint together real soon.